Good morning, good morning. Good morning. We want to welcome everyone. Good morning. We'll give everyone an opportunity uh, to sign in and before we begin our preschool chapel. So we'll take a few moments just to wait as uh, as our little ones and their families are going to be tuning in. Uh, looking forward to worshiping with you again. Um, this is Pastor Keith, and I can see we've got several folks who are watching. So I want to thank you and your little ones uh, for joining us uh, this morning. Again, we'll give folks a few more, a few more minutes to uh, to get live with us. I want to thank you and your family uh, for allowing us to have chapel. I know this is a it's a lot it's a lot different than than being at the preschool, and I know that um, our teachers uh, miss your your children so much. I miss chapel, um, but we're going to continue to have chapel, and so. Well, we're going to give a few more, few more seconds. Let me go ahead and introduce. Every week, we want to say hey to Bucky. So look, here's Bucky. Everybody say hey, Bucky, Bucky. Hopefully, he'll be a pretty good dog. He, he usually likes to sit right here beside me. So Bucky will sit right here. He has his little chew stick that he'll, he'll be there. Maybe he'll sing with us in a little bit. Maybe he'll, he'll sing with us. But listen, um, it's about one after eleven. So hopefully by now everyone is. Uh, is join us and for those who can maybe watch it later my name is Keith Cox and I am the pastor at Clarkson First Night Methodist Church and uh, every Wednesday we're going to continue uh, with with our chapel uh, I know that we cannot go back to the preschool so you are in your home and welcome to the Cox family home uh, every week we'll continue to have this time together and I, I may even try to do it even some in the summertime just to be consistent uh, with you and your family and if you can't watch us live uh, then you can watch us later in the day or on days come once again I encourage your little ones to uh, um, send uh, take a picture of your little ones watching chapel put that on a Facebook page so that we can see and that um, how everyone is enjoying this time together but <coughs> excuse me the pollen is getting a little bit uh, more more difficult, so I'm a little a little choked up this morning. But <coughs> we're so glad that you're here. So with that, let's do what we do every every week. Let's light our candle. And so, as you know, as we light our candle, this is how we invite the Holy Spirit, and we know that Jesus is the light of the world. So here we go. We're going to light our candle together, and then we're going to pray together. So. Here we go. Let's uh, let's join again. Let's do our hands. Really. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Clap. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Clap. All right. Let's pray. Let's pray. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for my mommy and thank you for my daddy. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for my grandparents. Thank you for all my family. Thank you for my school. Thank you for my teachers. Thank you for my friends, and thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, Miss April, my wife, has brought me some water. Thank you so much. That way I won't get too choked up. Thank you, sweetie, for bringing me the water. All righty, so here we go. We got to warm up our voices. So here we go. We're going to warm up our voices, and then we'll have some songs, and then we'll have our Bible story. And uh, once again, for those who are just... Um, getting online, we want to welcome you and your children uh, for our preschool chapel. And again, we are in our home. Uh, we're not able to be at the school, but welcome to the Talk Cox family. And for those who haven't met Bucky yet, here's Bucky. Say, hey, Bucky, Bucky, Bucky. Here's Bucky. All right, we'll leave Bucky alone. So here we go. Let's warm up our voices. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Me, 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 me. Come on. Oh, I can't hear you. Come on, come on. Me, 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 me. Now we go. You, 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 you. All right. So here we go. Let's, let's continue with my voices. We'll sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Now sing real loud. Here we go. One, two, three. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I wonder what you are. Yeah, everybody clap. Come on, let's clap. Yay. Let's go. Hey, make sure you're singing. 
Come on, now, if you just make sure your mom is singing, your brothers and sisters are singing. I don't want to be the only one singing because you you can tell Pastor Keith, my voice is not the greatest, so I need all your help. Help me sing real good now. So we're gonna do a song we haven't done in a while. Got some little hand motions, so here we go. We're gonna do deep and wide. Remember, we go deep and wide, and then wide and deep, and then mmm and mmm. So we're gonna have fun. So make sure we're ready. Here we go. One, two, three. Deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Here we go. Wide and deep. Wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and deep. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and deep. Here we go. Mmm and wide, mmm and wide, there's a fountain flowing mmm and wide. Mmm and wide, mmm and wide, there's a fountain flowing mmm and wide. Come on, right through, here we go. Mmm and deep, mmm and deep, there's a fountain flowing, mmm and deep, mmm and deep, mmm and deep, there's a fountain flowing, mmm and deep. One more, one more, here we go. Mmm and mmm, mmm and mmm, there's a fountain flowing, mmm and mmm, mmm and mmm, mmm and mmm, there's a fountain. Flowing, mm -hmm. It always makes my lips tingle. Makes me want to laugh. Does it make your make your lips tingle? Well, y'all did a great job. Everybody clap! Yay! Good job! Good job! Now remember, we want you. We want the parents to take pictures of your little ones um, involved in chapel and send that to the Facebook page. Now we have one more song. One more song. And it's called Making Melody. And remember, we go, we go slow, we go fast, we go super fast, and then sometimes we go super super slow. And then we do it the normal way. So here we go. We start off with the normal way of call, it's called making melody. Now we want brothers and sisters, we want parents, we're all gonna do this together. Because remember, my voice, my voice is not the greatest, so I need your help. I need to I want to make sure I can hear you singing. So here we go. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. For the joy of of the Lord. Good job, good job. Who wants to go fast? Raise your hand. Let me see your hands. Who wants to go fast? Raise them, raise them, raise them. Here we go. Just fast. Not super fast. Just fast. Just fast. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart for the joy of the Lord. Good job, good job. Who wants to go super, super, super fast? I can't. Come on, who? Who wants to go super, super fast? Here we go. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my joy for the Lord. Wow, that was that was crazy fast. Now, we haven't done this in a while. Let's go super, super slow. Now this sounds really, this is really fun. So we're gonna go turtle slow. So here we go. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. <laughs> slow now. Making melody. In my heart, making melody in my heart for the joy of the Lord. That was like super slow. All right, here we go. Let's do it. We'll do it the last time the normal way. Here we go. One, two, three. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart. Making melody in my heart for the joy of the Lord. All right, here we go. So now it's time for our, our Bible story. And remember last week, we, we remember remember last week, we, we saw the disciples gather outside and we saw as they looked up that Jesus was going up into heaven. And he said, look, now you go back and you wait. Go, you want you to go to this upper room and wait and be praying. And I'm going to send you a comforter. I'm going to send you a best friend. And this, this week is about how God sends help. So here they were. They were up in the upper room and it was dark and the windows were closed and they didn't know what to do. They were still a little scared, but they were all up in the room and they were praying together and they kept praying 
and praying and waiting and waiting. They knew that, that Jesus said that he was going to send something special. He was going to send what's called the comforter, like our best friend. And sure enough, as they're praying, the Bible book says all of a sudden there was a, a mighty wind. I need you, I need you here. Everybody make a wind go, whoosh, blow your hands. Whoosh, make a wind sound. Whoosh, 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 make a wind blow, whoosh, blow. There was a big old wind that came through the room. And they were like, and then on top of their, on top of everybody's head, there was like, like tongues of fire. And all of a sudden, they, they, they felt really happy. And they could feel the presence of God. And they were very excited. As a matter of fact, they were so excited, they opened up the windows and they all ran outside. And Peter, one of the disciples, started preaching to all the people. See, there's Peter up there. And he's preaching. And he's telling all about Jesus. Now, the other disciples, when they said they looked like they had fire on, on top of their head, that means they started speaking in different language, languages. Because see, all those people there, there were thousands and thousands of people, and they all speak different languages. Like, you know, today, we know people, we have friends who speak Spanish and German and French. Well, then, at, at that time, there was all these different people from all these different countries, and the disciples was, was able to speak their very own language. And so, when they heard Peter preaching about Jesus in their own language, and Peter said, you need to believe in Jesus and ask Jesus into your heart, and thousands of people that one day came together and they all believed. And that we call that Pentecost. And that's when we celebrate the church. That's when the very first church was established. And we give thanks uh, for this special day. So this special day is known as, as Pentecost. It's when thousands of people learned about Jesus and how much he loved them. And how much he went to the cross and then he was in the tomb and he's alive. And they all believed and they, and they asked Jesus into their heart. So this is a very special day because not only did the Holy Spirit help the disciples speak in different languages, the Holy Spirit is there to help you. The Holy Spirit gives you comfort. If you ever feel like you're alone or afraid, the Holy Spirit is there so you don't feel alone and you don't feel afraid because Jesus knew that he had to go to heaven to be with God, to be with his Father, but he didn't want us to ever be alone. So if you ever feel like you're alone, know that you can pray to God and ask the Holy Spirit to come into your life and ask the Holy Spirit to help you and guide you. So let's remember, let's pray right now. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, which is our friend, which helps us, gives us comfort so that we're never alone. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Once again, I want to thank you for worshiping with us. Thank you for, for participating in chapel. Thank you for singing. You did a great job singing. Again, I encourage your parents, take a picture of you singing, put it on the Facebook, and uh, share this with your other family and friends. Maybe you have friends who do not go to the preschool, but you want to share this uh, with your friends and let them know that every week, every Wednesday, we're going to have chapel. So I look forward to seeing you next week, uh, same time. Now, you'll be in your home, and me and Bucky, look at, let's say, let Bucky say goodbye. All right, well, look at him. He's busy with his stick. So let Bucky, but say bye, Bucky. Bye, Bucky, bye. He'll be here next week. We'll have singing time together and a Bible story. And so once again, we want to thank you for coming. Let's, let's blow out our candle. So here we go. Let's count real loud. On three, we'll blow it. Count with me. One, two, three. All right, good job. I'll see you next week. Have a great, great week.